Singapore's strategies for achieving quality economic growth are twofold. Ensure that the economy stays open and flexible to tap global and regional opportunities and restructure the economy so that companies and workers can achieve higher productivity and sustainability. The two-pronged approach was outlined by Trade and Industry Minister Lim Hung Kiang during his ministry's budget debate in Parliament. The Singapore economy is expected to grow at an average of 3 to 4 percent for the rest of the decade, says the country's trade and industry minister. He noted that this slowdown will be a significant change as Singapore has enjoyed twice that rate of growth since 2003. The slowdown will be most acutely felt in our workforce as our population ages and our citizen workforce shrinks over time. Foreign manpower as a complement to our Singaporean core must be managed judiciously. To deal with this slowdown, our companies must restructure and aim for higher productivity. The government sees opportunities for Singapore companies in four sectors. First, the high-value pharmaceutical industry, which offers high wages. Next, baby products and services. This sector is expected to be fueled mainly by the population boom in Asia and the rising middle class. The silver industry is also a potential growth segment. Finally, high-end logistics services will also see much growth. The plight and concerns of the small and medium enterprises or SMEs got much adding in Parliament during the speeches of some MPs who raised concerns about the difficulties SMEs face in coping with restructuring. The minister assured that the government pays a particular attention to the SMEs, especially when they provide good jobs to some 1.3 million Singaporeans. Two-thirds of the $5.3 billion transition support program announced during the budget will benefit the SMEs. We'll focus on helping SME along three broad trusts. First, the top line, we have to tap on the opportunities for growth. Second, drive productivity, make sure it's efficient, it's effective. Thirdly, to provide a conducive environment for the SMEs. The underlying message, there are no quick fixes in addressing the challenges and the assurance that the government is committed to help companies here face the challenges.